All right, bring your knee toward me. Do you have the same pinch on that side? No. Because the range of motion isn't the same here. I mean, this, this side is a little bit more affected than the other side because this is where a knee surgery was. So um, it, this was hyper-contracting more on this side. You know, some, it's okay sometimes if a client doesn't feel a stretch. Mm -hmm. You know, just because it's a height for somebody and somebody else feels it, the other person doesn't feel it, doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. It just means it doesn't really have to be done because it's okay. You're going for gluteus okay. medius? Right now we're going for glute max because yeah, so we're so getting here. Try not to okay. lift your lower back, right? Here we go, just like that. Okay. Again, pull toward me. Breathing in, but I don't see you breathing. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I She's see breathing, breathing out, but not in. <laughs> well, it's hard to do the one without the other. <laughs> She's yeah. not breathing in very much, though. Okay. <clears throat> okay, good. Now turn out for me. Now you're going to come up here with me. You notice my hand placement. It's here. If I place my hand here, I'm probably not going to maintain that external rotation. When I have my hand here, pull it in for me. Here and exhale. Again, pull. And now I know you you can't wait to feel piriformis, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so I'm going to sit here. I don't always have to sit on the table. Sometimes clients are fairly tight. This isn't tight, believe me. Sometimes it's like, can't get in. I'm doing this, and I can't get any leverage. So in that case, and I'm standing up on the table, I'm standing, not standing on the table, I'm standing on the floor, my foot will be up on the table, and I'm going to work from this position. Okay, so then I can do this. All right, but anyway, so here we go. I'm going to start by taking some of the slack out of piriformis, like I said before, just by bringing it across the midline. Now, you're going to ask your clients, if, if my arm is your femur, mm -hmm. I just want you to turn like this. I want you to rotate. So rotate. Look at this. Towards like you. This. <coughs> this is, I want you to turn like this. <laughs> oh, you're going to love this. Right. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, turn. Take a deep breath. No, what I don't want you to do is this. Okay. It's really hard to find the muscle. <laughs> Because we want to use whatever we got. There we go. So these are these are bleak fibers of gluteus maximus. Breathe. This is piriformis. Oh, okay. Because we're rotating now. Okay. Right. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. We're all envious. Everybody likes this. We're <laughs> <laughs> such a caring group. Turn. Last time you volunteer. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to feel blood in your hip that you haven't felt in a yeah, long time. Yeah. You know, when you do this work and you really need it and you have a condition, you just start to feel this warmth. And what that is is blood. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be there. It just couldn't get there because you didn't ask it to be, to be pulled in. Amazing. Okay, now, and I'd have a hard time reaching that muscle with my hands. And it would hurt. Okay? Now, piriformis has another end. It connects to the sacrum. It approximately has a 15 degree inclined plus a gluteal fold. So now, in order for me to stretch that, I have to understand how to line up bones. I'm going to still be getting glute max because it's on top. But once you get through glute max, if I have origin lined up with insertion, I'm going to get the muscle that's deep to it. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. So, 15 degrees is going to approximately be the lower rib on the opposite side. So that's just above the hip curve. So I'm going to reach across again because basically that 15 degrees comes right inside my arm. My arm's not in the way yet. So here is glute max. Here is glute max and piriformis. I mean, we're only talking about 5, 10 degrees, you know, 15 max to be able to line up. And so that's how detailed these angles can get. All right? So I want you to open your leg up a little bit. Now draw toward me. Here. Here. Feel the pulling your sacrum a little bit? Yeah. And here. Exhale, please. Inhale. And blow it out. You don't have to go all the way back okay. to neutral. To this is neutral now for that muscle. Okay. That muscle had nothing to do with bringing it up. Right. right? So you got to think about what, how did he get there? What muscles were used to get it into that position? If, it, if it's not the muscle that I was stretching to get it there, then when I go back here, it's neutral. I don't care about the flexors anymore. You know, or 
extensors of the hip because they're not involved in the movement of that muscle.